And we start the morning rush with a possible lawsuit. A sixth grade girl's family says they plan to sue the Farmington Police Department after a school officer allegedly attacked her. Back in August, an 11 year old girl with behavioral issues was refusing staff's request to stay inside. Now, former school resource officer Zachary Christensen was seen roughing her up during the arrest. Police in northern New Mexico are asking the public for their help this morning, identifying a pair of poachers. The video was taken Sunday morning outside a home in Angel Fire. Now, video shows the driver of the white pickup truck stop in front of the home, then appears to fire off around at a deer. If you recognize the suspects or the truck, you're asked to call Angel Fire Police. Erica. We have a big system that's going to be moving in uh, as we go from Wednesday night into Thursday. There's still some uncertainty, so the bus potential is 50%, but it could be bringing several inches of snow to our northern mountains as we head into Thursday morning. We'll keep you updated on this system. Albuquerque voter is now considering the approval of a multi-million dollar homeless shelter without knowing where it will be built. The city says the shelter would provide job training and behavioral health treatment for 300 homeless people. Voters will find the shelter in bond question two. The city is still scouting possible locations. Many voters have already turned in their ballots early in Bernalillo County. Officials say that more than 2,900 voters took advantage of absentee and early voting. A reminder that 19 early voting locations are still open across the county right now. Election day is November 5th. New Mexico ranks sixth in the nation for employment growth. According to the state, non-agricultural employment rose by more than 2%. That's compared to the 1.4% growth nationally. The private sector accounted for most of that growth. APS will soon give the state back $12 million of its unused funding. The journal reports that the money was earmarked for, uh, for the state-required K-5 through program and a program that lengthens the school, day by t school year rather, by 10 days. At a meeting last night, the Board of Education voted to adjust the budget and go forward without that money. APD will soon launch its party patrol unit. City councilors approved funding for the program after the shooting death of Albuquerque teen Sean Markey at a house party. $280,000 of general fund money will now pay for more officers to respond to underage drinking calls. This morning, the dean of UNM's medical school is pushing for free tuition for aspiring doctors. The journal reports that Dr. Paul Roth is proposing the state fund full ride scholarships for students who commit to practicing here in the state. Now, Roth says this would help address New Mexico's doctor shortage. We're looking ahead for you this morning. You can soon get your flu shot in a quick, convenient way. The Department of Health is hosting a drive through flu shot clinic this Saturday at the Midtown Public Health Office from 10 to 2. Free shots will be available for children and uninsured adults while supplies do last. Erica. Our metro threat index today is pretty low. We don't have anything really going on. Sunny skies, much lighter winds. The only thing is that it's pretty chilly this morning, so do not forget your jacket. We're looking ahead for you this morning. New Mexico will soon join 20 other states in allowing voters to register on Election Day. The journal reports the change is gradually being phased in. It will not take full effect until 2021. However, starting this year, voters can register to vote during local elections or change the registration. Happening tomorrow, New Mexico United, they're gearing up to head out to Sacramento for its first playoff game. This will be the first playoff game in the USL for the team. Meanwhile, Sacramento F Republic FC is trying to get into the main draw for the playoffs for a sixth consecutive time. United and Sacramento battle that out tomorrow night starting at 830. We're looking ahead for you this morning. Crews will break ground next year on the historic 1965 Downtown Motor Inn. The hotel near 8th and Central will undergo a $22 million renovation. It will include a coffee shop, bar, a new pool, and a lawn area for games. The hotel will also take a new new home, new name, I should say, arrive Albuquerque. Meanwhile, we are seeing the new plaza at the Albuquerque Rail Yards. The new plaza features new concrete paths. This is where food trucks can get set up, with some new lighting, and of course, some new landscaping. Next month, the city is asking voters for an additional five and a half billion dollars to further support revitalization. On to news happening today. Albuquerque's Alex Bregman will play for his second World Series title. He currently leads the Astros with 41 home runs and 112 RBIs, enough to put his name on top of the MVP conversation. The Astros won the World Series back in 2017. The team takes on the Washington Nationals tonight at 6 on Fox New Mexico. Erica. Let's get a look at the morning drive. There are no accidents to report, but there is one slowdown we're seeing on Paseo del Norte as you get on to I-25. Tracker is going east on I-40 near Coors and Rio Grande. As you can see, more cars starting to pile up in the roads, but still moving at a good speed.
All right, Netflix users, listen up. The company could soon start cracking down on password sharing. We knew it was coming, right? The company says it's aware some of you have been sharing your passwords. That way you can avoid paying for the monthly su subscription. Netflix already limits the number of devices that can stream from one account. The company has not said how it will monitor the password sharing exactly. Uh -oh. uh, but be aware, you've yeah. been warned. Don't do it. Mm. On this day, October 22nd, 1995, which was 24 years ago, there were high winds and a strong, as a strong cold front moved through. In Las Vegas, recorded 62 mile per hour wind gusts for four hours long. So if you thought yesterday was windy, windy with the same kind of situation, well, that was way windier. Time now for the five facts. All right, number five here, New Mexico native Alex Bregman playing for his second World Series title today. He currently leads the Astros with 41 home runs, 112 RBIs. This is enough to put his name on top of the American League MVP conversation along with Mike Trout. You can watch the Astros take on the Washington Nationals tonight at 6 p.m. on Fox New Mexico. At number four, police are asking for your help to identify a pair of poachers caught on camera. The video was taken early Sunday morning outside of an Angel Fire home. Now, video shows a white pickup truck stop in front of the home. The driver appears to fire off a round. Then two men can be seen dragging the deer back to their truck. At number three, today is going to be a little bit warmer, and we're already seeing those temperatures warming up this morning. Right there, 24-hour temperature change. And by later on this afternoon, we'll see around 4-degree warmer temperatures in Albuquerque and across the rest of the state. At number two, Albuquerque voters, listen up. You'll soon have to consider approving a multi-million dollar homeless shelter without even knowing where it's going to be built. Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller is hoping that voters will approve the $14 million shelter. That would provide job training and behavioral health and treatment services for 300 homeless people. Now, the shelter is on the ballot in bond question two, which is tied in with more than $21 million in geo bonds to improve senior and community centers. Number one now this morning, the family of a sixth grade girl seen in a video getting roughed up by a Farmington school officer is now planning to sue. Newly released police body camera video captured the incident back in August. Authorities say the 11 year old girl with known behavioral issues was walking around the school, refusing staff's request to stay inside. A while later, now former school resource officer Zachary Christensen tried to arrest the girl who he claimed had bumped into two staff members. For nearly six minutes, the officer tried to cuff her. The DA's office says he will not be charged. The family plans to sue the police department and the school district.